Hi everybody, it's Kristen with Hasta Cielo y Mas and I want to welcome you to my channel. Um, today is the day where I am making a major life announcement to all my friends and family on Facebook. And that announcement is that I am about 18 months post-op duodenal switch surgery. Um, that is a weight loss surgery that I had back in December of 2016. And over the past uh, 18 months, a uh, little over 18 months, I have lost about 200 pounds, 200 pounds, guys. So um, life has been a bit crazy for me. Um, just actually, it started about 10 years ago. I was able to beat cancer, and I want to thank MD Anderson in Houston for helping me with that. Um, my husband, Reyes, and I then proceeded to uh, begin a crazy adoption journey. And a uh, little over five years ago, we brought home three children, precious children from Honduras, and they have grown into some pretty amazing teenagers that I'm very proud of. And then in the, um, about four years ago, most of you know that I became very ill. I had shingles of the inner ear and it destroyed my vestibular system. And so a couple years ago, two years ago, I decided to take my life back. I have been unable to work or drive for the past uh, four and a half years, and that had really taken a toll on me. Um, I was probably dealing with some depression, but definitely my health was continuing to decline with the excess weight that I had. And so um, uh, two years ago, as part of a family venture, we decided to embark on the prospect of weight loss surgery. And we did that as a family and have made that through. And now um, it's time to look at the next step. So the next step for me is plastic surgery. I have a lot of excess skin and I'm actually gonna show you guys some pictures here at the end. Um, I have a lot of excess skin and I need to have it removed. Um, and so I plan to do that and I'm gonna do it in stages. I'm gonna start with my arms and my back and I'm going to be having surgery with Dr. Salceda on June the 7th, which is about a month away. So I'm really, really excited. Um, I will need additional work done in the future, but for financial reasons and um, various reasons, I've decided to um, start with my arms, which are my biggest problem area for me. And um, so that's my plan. Um, I am excited. Uh, it's gonna be a big step. Um, I know quite a bit about it because I went with my friend Joni from Smile and Shrink In in October, um, so I went with her, and so I will link uh, below a link to a video of her interviewing Dr. Salceda, her and I interviewing Dr. Salceda. Um, and then I have two friends who will be accompanying me um, on this journey in June, um, Amber from Losing Lou, and I'll put her link down below, and Cookie Lou, Lucille, um, and I will be traveling together after the WLSFA conference. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, there's a lot of big changes going on. Um, I wanted to announce too that I am a little bit closer to a vestibular implant trial. I'm gonna be traveling in the fall to Seattle and I'm hoping to get an appointment with a researcher, a uh, doctor out there who is looking at vestibular implants. Johns Hopkins is next. So a lot of expenses will be incurred in the next couple years. So I know many of you are aware already that I have embarked also on a new business venture with Rodan and Fields. And so um, I'll be putting a link down below if you're interested in checking that out as well. So thank you so much for all your prayer support, all your support. God has been so faithful through this entire journey. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, no amount of weight loss, no skin removal is going to fix my brain, unfortunately, but I am trying to hang in there, trying to stay strong because I do see that very um, positive changes are in my future. So those of you who did not know that I had had weight loss surgery and that I was emb embarking on all of these new ventures in my life, um, now you do. And if you have um, any questions or friends or family who might wish to discuss these things, I'm um, just uh, right around the corner. So just let me know and I'm often available to talk. And I would love to encourage anyone who needs that support. So thank you. God bless you from the heart of Texas. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.